One is a content management system and the other one is a digital experience cloud. And my name is Anton Christoph. I work currently in product strategy and marketing for Cyclinity. I've been with uh, Telerik and focused on Cyclinity for the last almost six years now. I started back in Bulgaria in 2009 and then transferred over to our Boston office. Uh, and I've been there for the last three years. And I've exchanged throughout the years a lot of communication with some of the people in the room. And we've also had a chance to meet face to face at the various events that we both attend. So for those of you who are uh, new to Sitefinity, Telerik, and products in general, I'm going to do a quick company overview. The market overview is where we, uh, we are as a product family. And then an overview of the Sitefinity content management system. Uh, and then Christopher Peck will show you a demo of uh, the Sitefinity CMS. But before I move on, how many of you here are completely new to Sitefinity and don't know anything about the products, and things. I see one of my new colleagues there. <laughs> All right, two people. So everyone else has three people. Anyone else? Everyone else has done a website with typing. He'll work with typing in one way or another. A little bit. Good. So that we have a mixed, of, uh, mixed audience here. So Telerik, a progress company, at a glance. Uh, Telerik is a leading vendor of productivity tools for developing and delivering uh, engaging customer experiences. What I mean by developing is that what Telerik is most famous for is our UI controls. Those are UI controls for ASP.NET, AJAX, for uh, WinForms still, uh, XAML. Now we have Can Do UI, which is a UI framework for developing HTML5 applications. So this is the core product uh, line of Telerik. And then Sitefinity is the other major product line of the business which is focused on the delivering those customer experiences and, and engaging uh, with the customer through client-facing websites as well as employee uh, and partner portals. So we're now a global company. We got acquired last December by Progress Software which are based out of Bedford and our US headquarters are in Walton, Massachusetts and Progress is in Bedford, Massachusetts. So currently we have 2,000 employees. Uh, we have more than 140,000 customers all over the world, as you can see in 180 countries. We've won numerous business awards. Uh, Progress is very famous into the enterprise database space. Most of the uh, big companies such as, let's say, uh, Glasgow that sell sunglasses, all their terminals, retail terminals, feed into a back-end database ERP system that's based on the Progress software technology. And we're also a publicly traded company under the PRGS um, symbol on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. But more specifically about Sitefinity, since we all came here for Sitefinity and I want to make this as relevant as possible. We currently have more than 11,000 customers, small and large, from all over the world uh, that use Sitefinity CMS to power more than 15,000 websites. And those customers rely on the help of people like you awesome system integrators, design agencies that we partner with and some of the, and they help our customers be successful with their site painting implementations. One of these customers is PepsiCo, which is a site painting for their Gatorade website. Uh, they're now also deploying it across other sites as well. Another one is Danone, which is a site painting CMS for its Activia website. So if you go to ActiviaUS.com, uh, you're going to see uh, the website and this is powered by site painting. And then Hayward, which is revolutionizing the office furniture space uh, with an engaging customer experience on their corporate website, as well as amazing e-commerce experience that they had on their store.hayward.com. And what's unique about that e-commerce experience is that you can actually customize your furniture to a very little detail before placing an order. And this is all powered by Safefinity. Then it's integrated to our SAP ERP system in the back end so that they can fulfill the order, so they know which color of the chair you ordered, whether it has armrest or doesn't, and stuff like that. So in a nutshell, uh, this is a high-level overview of what we do. And then my colleague David and Chris here will speak more about uh, Telerik and what it means to be part of the Progress family, as well as the partner program later on. Now about the market. So as you can see here, IDC predicts that the worldwide market technology spend by 2018, it will be about 20 billion. 
So this 20 billion is a lot of money. So this is a huge opportunity. However, this is spread across multiple technology segments, multiple solutions. And if you've seen in the last 10 years, there's maybe a thousand to like 10,000 new, uh, new companies that are entering the marketing technology space, trying to get some share of that market. So where Sitefinity kind of plays at uh, on those markets is the content production and management, which is our bread and butter. And now we've released the Sitefinity Digital Experience Cloud, where we enter the space of data analytics systems, because this is an advanced customer analytics solution. And we also do part of um, sort of integration system space because we provide connectors to different systems such as Salesforce, SharePoint, Marketo, and then Progress Software has data integration technology called DataDirect that can hook up to numerous databases uh, that can feed back into the digital experience cloud or site into CMS or other products that they may have or applications that you may have built. <coughs> and <coughs> what we've seen over the last few years is that there's transformation going on in the web content management space, and it's now called the customer experience management space. But what this really means is that many people say, oh, customer experience is just the old web content management thing. But in reality, it's not, because the web content management was a problem of efficiency, being able to produce content. Uh, it was cost-driven. I want to save money because it takes me too much time to publish content on the website or to manage my web properties or it <coughs> requires a lot of server power and so on. People were measuring clicks, they were also planning campaigns with months, sometimes years, and counting that these campaigns would be successful from a marketing standpoint in the end. And all this has shifted towards uh, a new, let's say, new set of problems because the web content management problem has already been solved to a large extent. So now it's about effectiveness. How effective is your content that, that you produce? Uh, can you measure it? How can you engage better with your customer? Because the customer experience will become one of the main differentiators for businesses in the next few years. So the product pricing and everything else will become second to customer experience because the products will be deemed as uh, pretty much um, supplemental at that point. And then from a cost-driven perspective, okay, I save money from my costing, I improve the efficiency of my staff, they're more productive, now we're moving into a revenue-driven perspective where I want to spend money on a web content management and customer experience management solution that will drive business growth. And we see this difference between various maturity levels of our customers. Some want just a web presence where they communicate some information outwards, but they don't really engage with their customers. And then there's other customers who want to use their website as a primary business driver. And Teleric, we've done that throughout the history of the company. Uh, most of our dev tools business, the UI components are sold online, and we drive everything through digital marketing. And the same goes with the site Finity website. Uh, and from a big bank standpoint, people no longer plan campaigns with years, uh, and what they do is they use agile practices that move from software development into marketing now, and it's a more iterative approach. You put out a message, you measure the results, you tweak it a little bit so that it's constantly changing, constantly evolving, and what was yesterday uh, doesn't have anything to do with where we are today, or it's different. So it's a moving thing. The same thing happens with digital marketing. Digital marketing and, uh, is currently at a stage where it's transforming very quickly. There's this whole digital transformation that started with marketing, and later on we think that it will transition to the entire business, uh, like business lines and the entire business organization in general. Uh, and then, currently, marketers pretty much rely on multiple systems. There are, I don't know, maybe on a daily basis, they use 10 different systems to gather data, manage the website, uh, look at analytics, and so forth. It's very hard to, to combine all these data in a single place and have a single source of truth. Uh, also, it's very hard to analyze all this data and make sense of it for, for the customer so that we can target them uh, in a better way and everyone gets a better experience. And Personalizing that experience for the customers is also not easy. Like Sitefinity CMS offers personalization, as many other content management systems nowadays offer personalization. But we're not yet at the point where that personalization can be scalable. You can use it in specific use cases, such as uh, personalization by location, 
which we do on our website. We personalize our customer showcases by region so that you see relevant showcases. And it's not still scalable because it requires a lot of work. You still have to write all the content that needs to go through into the personal, personalized pages. It requires people, strategy, uh, maintenance, and so forth. And I think we're going to see that change as we go into the next five, five, ten years. Um, and we're going to see more personalization in the likes of Amazon, which they use. People who have bought that have also bought that, and this is all machine driven. Uh, so that's going to move from the big retailers into the more uh, general space uh, for marketers to use and leverage. Uh, so all these trends, from a business perspective, put a lot of pressure on IT and IT organizations. And I think you guys go in and help a lot of those companies when they struggle with IT resources and making sure that they can implement the stuff that they really need in order to be successful from a business standpoint. So the businesses want to be fast. They want to go to, go to market very quickly. They also want to be able to deliver their content and message across multiple devices. They want to engage with those customers on email, mobile, uh, desktop, tablet, and so forth. And they also want to know who their customers are so that they can target them much better. So IT has to do all of this and at the same time maintain low cost budgets because they get <laughs> their money gets taken away from the IT budget and put into, put into the marketing budget uh, from what we see. So marketing is spending more money on technology and at the same time relying on IT to implement that technology. Uh, so this is uh, the market overview of where uh, we are and what problems we, we solve as a business from a teller IT standpoint. Now I'll tell you a little bit more uh, for about the Cyfinity platform. It's composed of a web content management and commerce solution. This is a pure CMS point of it, which also provides experience management and advanced marketing analytics. The advanced marketing analytics are delivered through our digital experience cloud, which is integrated with the CMS and serve, serves as a single repository for all the customer data. And then we also have the extensibility and integration toolkit, as well as um, ability for you to deploy that on an enterprise-wide scale. Uh, we have very big enterprises now such as Nestle, for example, that are deploying SiteKNT across all their websites. And they want to manage and be able to spin websites pretty much in, in a day. They want to put out 10 new websites, take them down a month later, and put like 10 um, new ones there as well. Uh, you can extend the CMS uh, to be customized for any, any business need. And this is one of the competitive advantages of SiteKNT as a content management system, because Telerik is a or software development company, unlike other content management vendors. And we take all this R&D knowledge and put it into the SiteKNT CMS. So the architecture of the platform is very flexible, modular, uh, so that you can build widgets that are drag and drop uh, onto any of the pages. You can uh, integrate it with traditional systems, uh, not only CRMs and marketing information systems, but ERP systems, such as the case with Hayward. So what, is, like, what are the benefits of all this uh, functionality and flexibility that uh, the platform gives? One is this marketing agility to the marketing team so that they can do their job much faster, much better, and with very little assistance from MIT. Uh, from IT. Uh, the, one of the biggest complaints we hear when we speak to customers and prospects is that we have this content management system, but at the same time, we have to rely on a front-end developer every time we want to make a change to the website. It takes a while. It goes through the deployment, approval process, testing, and so forth. Like adding a JavaScript tag sometimes takes them a few days to do because they don't have the flexibility to do it. And Sitefinity really, with its user-friendly interface, and you're going to see later on in the demo because everyone claims they have a user-friendly interface, but the best way to see the difference is with your own eyes, and we're going to show that to you. It is very simple for marketers to work with, and it increases their productivity because we allow them to duplicate pages, duplicate widgets, and reuse a lot of the stuff that's already been done on the website and just make quick modifications to launch a new campaign, for example, a new landing page. Also, we enable the marketers to optimize the customer journey using predictive analytics and machine learning, uh, which 
starts from a goal, you define the business goal, I want to increase my demo conversions, and also I want to increase the number of customers that I have. So our algorithms reverse engineer the customer journey for those two conversions and give recommendations to the marketer based on specific customer segments that the algorithm has identified that have the highest likelihood of increasing those conversions. And we actually make a prediction that if you, if you take that recommended action that we recommend you to do, you're likely to increase conversions, let's say, by 10%, which will result in 200 new, new customers that you're going to get. And then we give you the ability to set a campaign to deliver that action and measure whether your actions are positively impacting the conversion or negatively impacting. Because sometimes we do things for the sake of doing things, and we don't really know whether they're helping or not. Oh, and the last point that I missed is uh, the integration store and the flexibility of the site Unity platform really enables IT to deliver on the business goals while maintaining control over everything, as well as uh, being a very secure solution and very low cost solution. If I so the, the marketing agility that I spoke with, uh, the, key, the key points here is the user interface, the ability to drag and drop widgets. And if you build .NET controls with site Unity, you can register them and configure them with the system, and then the marketing team can immediately start dragging and dropping those custom controls onto any, any page that you build. And then those widgets have designers that enable the marketer to configure those settings so that they're not hard-coded in the actual widget, which gives, again, flexibility to the marketing team to do their job without having to rely on development. Uh, the Digital Experience Cloud. So the Digital Experience Cloud one so the first problem it solves is it aggregates data from multiple data sources. And as you can see here, from multiple websites, uh, CRM systems, marketing automation, social media, now we're doing mobile SDKs so that if you have a mobile app, you can, you can track the interaction uh, of the user of that mobile app from a customer behavior standpoint, not from application, not from application analytics, and then feed that into our, our cloud so that you can create a single customer view and see all these interactions, which gives you the ability to do customer journey analysis, as well as get the recommendations using our predictive analytics algorithms and the prescriptive, prescriptive analytics, and then measure whether your actions are successful uh, or not, and adjust your strategy so that you can grow the business pretty much. So the ability to innovate while maintaining control, security, and low cost uh, comes with uh, the fact that the CMS platform is on-premise deployment. You can deploy it uh, in uh, your own data centers or in the public clouds, private clouds. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can do MVC and web forms development on the same website and page, so you can mix and match both. And currently, we are working all our web forms widgets into MVC technology, and this is what we call Project Feather, which is actually open source, and you can see the source. Uh, we release weekly, uh, weekly updates to that project. You can update yours as well via, uh, via Nugget packets. Um, and therefore, this gives the productivity of IT to deliver on the customizations that the business needs. We also support mobile in terms of every mobile strategy that there is, such as responsive design, we have a responsive framework built into the content management system with drag and drop layouts. You can change the layouts, preview for mobile, and then when the marketer goes and creates content, they can, it's automatically responsive, uh, responsive pretty much. Then in addition to that, Telerik has the Telerik platform, which is a whole mobile application development platform, not only for developing mobile applications, but for managing the entire mobile application development lifecycle that you can use to build mobile apps that can take content from the CMS and deliver it to, uh, to the mobile users. For example, I know the guys from Ontario in the back, they did uh, Indiana State University, if I'm not mistaken. Indiana Tech. Oh, Indiana Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a campus mobile application where uh, it's available on tablets and mobile. Uh, Sitefinity is the back end for that mobile application where the business users manage the campus maps and put out new information for the campus and all that gets delivered to the mobile app. Uh, integrations, we integrate uh, out of the box with SharePoint, Dynamic CRM, uh, and Marquero on the CMS side, and Dynamic CRM and Salesforce uh, on the Digital Experience Cloud side, as well as provide tools for you to integrate with any other system 
the feed data either to the CMS or to the digital experience cloud. Uh, then the extensibility story is uh, we have a feature that we refer to as the module builder, which is which gives you the ability to create custom content types, and those content types uh, can be hierarchical, can have permissions per field, per item, and so on. And then uh, when you create the content, the custom content type, you not only get uh, just a bunch of data fields, but the system generates for you all the web services you need in order to uh, get data and feed data back to those uh, content types, as well as generates widgets that people can drag and drop onto the pages without you having to develop those widgets from scratch. And we work primarily with Gartner, Forrester, and Glister, as well as other analysts um, in the analyst uh, space. So I think we got included in the Gartner Magic Quadrant uh, last year for the first time. Uh, we were uh, very um, happy and proud of that achievement because uh, it takes a lot of work for someone to get recognized with Gartner. And uh, we are currently waiting for the new Gartner Magic Quadrant to see where our position would be. Uh, we are also recognized by Forrester in a few Forrester reports on the customer experience management and customer delivery, I mean experience delivery standpoint. And Glimster as well has recognized Sitefinity uh, when they compared Sitefinity to other content management systems uh, as a number one in terms of usability and user friendliness. And from 